So I'm going to draw one of those fidget spinners uh, because a lot of you guys have made a request for that. So before I draw it, uh, all of those spinners use skateboard bearings. And skateboard bearings have a diameter of 22 millimeters and a thickness of 7 millimeters. Uh, knowing this, you can really make all sorts of different designs. You don't have to do it the way I'm showing you. Uh, I'm just going to show you one way to do it. So, that being said, we're going to go to New, and we're going to go to Metric when we open New. And this is very important because, as you saw, the dimensions were all in millimeters. And since they're in millimeters, you need to select the Metric Standard IPT. So we're going to go into Metric. Uh, once we get in, we're going to start a new 2D sketch. We're going to pick the XY plane for front. Uh, any plane would really work. I just find this one to be the easiest. And we'll start drawing that 22 millimeter diameter circle. Once you have that, we can draw another circle straight up. And notice how I'm going straight up like I picked this. And it'll kind of track. So on the X-plane, I'm staying in the same spot as I was before. I'm going to draw an additional 22 millimeter circle. If it's not perfect, it's okay. Uh, I just find it is very easy to work when they're directly above each other. What we can do now is dimension the distance between the circles. I've tried a couple of different distances here. I like the distance of 35 millimeters. It's a good size. It works well. Uh, 30 is okay. Uh, so somewhere in that range. I'll put it right in the middle just for the sake of the video. Um, if you have big hands you can go a little larger and if you don't you can go a little smaller. But what you do have to do is draw a circle on each of these. Now the way I'm showing you to do this, uh, I'm putting the circle on the inside one as well. You actually uh, don't necessarily have to do it that way, uh, but it works nicely for the way I'm showing. I like to make my outside diameter 27. That seems to have worked well so far. Uh, I haven't had any snapping or breaking uh, when I've been printing them. but. There's no uh, harm in getting a little deeper if you want to go to 27, to 28, to 29, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, so, just showing you, you can modify it if you don't like the looks later. Then we're going to take the line tool, and this is why I like to say it's important to get them perfectly lined up, because it allows you to make these nice, straight lines. Once you have those... I'm just going to go in and I'm going to trim the inner part. So this would kind of be like a spinner with just two things. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a circular pattern where I'm just going to select everything like that and I'm going to pick my axis which will be the center of our original circle. And this is why I like to show it this way because this kind of lets you do anywhere between 2 and 6. Once you get past 6, uh, you might be able to squeak out 7 or 8, but it's getting tricky then. But we'll, uh, we'll say two, 2 or 3 is kind of the most typical people go for. So I'm going to do it with 3. So having done it with three, I get all of this. I don't have to do any more trimming. I can just hit finish sketch. Once I get in here, it's pretty easy to extrude it. I grab extrude and I just grab the three legs. Uh, remember the thickness of those bearings was seven. So this is the second number I needed. So we'll get seven. And you could be finished with this, uh, but I like to 
kind of make mine a little nicer. So what I'm going to say you should do is you should probably go in here and do fill it for all of these. And I like to tell people instead of coming in with a specific number, select those inner edges and then you can kind of drag to what you want the radius to be for the fillet. And I'll just do something that looks kind of good. So I'll select that. That looked good to me. Uh, and then this fillet, the number's got to be two. And it'll let you go around the edges. So when it does print, you have nice rounded edges. And once you have that, you could be done. But I'm a fan of personalizing stuff. So if you were going to do this and print it, if you go and make another sketch on the front face, you can come and add text. I like to try to kind of create a circle to line up where I want my text to go. So it's all kind of even. And I find a good text size is 6.1 millimeters. And you could then add in your three initials. So that one's the easiest. And, and you can move it. And then you can make another text box over here. And once again, you got to change it. You can change the letters to a font you like. Um, and then after you get the next letter in there, what you gotta do is you gotta rotate it. So you select the letter, pick a center point, and then you can kind of spin it. And we can move it in there. Let's try to get it lined up between the two nice. See the A and the B are hitting, and then I'll go add the C. And once again, I will rotate that C. So I'll pick the C. I will select the center point on the C so I can rotate it. And then I will move it. Now, I mean, if we really, really wanted to get fancy, we could hit this thing called Project Geometry. And we could draw these lines between the circle centers. And then we could not only get these shapes lined up by the circle, but we could get them lined up on the line as well you're uh, kind of OCD about making things look perfect, you can do this. It's, it's a quick way for layout. But it can be a little more time consuming. Sometimes you gotta zoom in to really get it where you want it. And the A looks good. So, if you hit finish sketch then, you can go to extrude, and you can actually pick each of the letters and cut them out. Turn sideways, it'll show it's cutting out. So you can cut them out. And uh, it'll print like that. I do have to warn you though, if you're doing something like ABC, you're going to lose the ABC if you cut them all the way through because you're going to lose the middle of the A and the middle of the B. So one thing you can do to avert that is you can cut down like six. So now it'll have a nice stem to sit on. So it won't be visible through both sides, but it'll be visible on the top. You could also just do a little indent if you wanted, maybe like two. That's up to kind of your personal preference. Now if all your letters are like C, you know, things like C, U, M, W, S, letters like that where there's no little bit in the center, 
you can cut those straight through and you don't have to worry. But this is uh, one of many ways to make the fidget spinner. Uh, you could get creative. Um, I just find this is a very simple way to do it. So, I hope you enjoyed. Good luck.